Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to create database tables and database relationships in our systems. First, in Service Studio, you're going to see that there's a data tab over here. This is where you could create and manage all your database tables. Now, the first thing you're going to do is from the database, you could right click and click Add Entity, or you could simply press Control N. When you do that, you could manually type in your database name. From here, you could either press Control N to create your attributes or right click add an attribute or simply add an entity, edit the entity from here. I personally prefer adding my attributes using this tool, um, which I will put in my supplier attributes. So let's say um, I'm adding my name, my phone number, and you would notice here that as I name my attributes, the data type for OutSystems automatically guesses what I'm trying to um, assign to my attribute. So if I enter phone number, it will put in my data type as phone number, which will help me with my validations later on. If I put in email, the data type will be email. And likewise, if I put picture, the data type will be binary data. And so those are some of the smart things that OutSystems helps us with. Aside from that, you have a data model canvas over here. So if you double click the data model item, you could drag and drop all your existing tables over here. You could right click anywhere and create a new database as well. Or um, I'm gonna show you another way of how to create a database. I have a file with a list of products in an Excel file. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to import uh, my existing data in Excel, which is my list of products, um, I already have rows and rows of data, and I also have some columns that I want to import into the OutSystems database. Dragging and dropping this Excel file into my designer, what would happen is OutSystems would detect this Excel file, and it would ask me if I would like to import my product. So this is the name of my sheet. If I click Import, what would happen is that OutSystems would automatically create my database table, with the same columns that we had um, in the Excel file. And likewise, Autism is trying to guess the data type that we have based on the existing data um, that is found in the file. So for example, the price is already marked as an integer or the quantity stock is marked as an integer because my data has numbers. So um, how do I create a relationship between my product and my supplier? What I could do is I could drag and drop my product into my data model canvas. And um, I, if I over mouse over one of these boxes or one of these database tables, you could see this chicken feet. And you could um, drag and drop that into your table so that you could create a relationship, okay? And so if you look at my database uh, table here, I already have another attribute and the data type is linking to the supplier's identifier. But another way of creating a relationship is if I undo that, I could also right click, create a new attribute. And if I name this supplier ID, which is my database table name plus the word ID and click enter, you could see that it detected that this is a supplier identifier and it created a relationship for me automatically. So that's how you create database tables and relationships within OutSystems. Let's see how it looks like. So let's create a list of products. Um, and you probably already know from other tutorials that if you drag and drop your database table into your um, main flow canvas, OutSystems would automatically create your um, table listing page and your table product uh, detail page. So if I look at that, my listing page would already be here. And I could change this however I want. Let's say I don't want my picture to show up here. Okay. And if I look at my detail page, you would see that since we created a relationship between the supplier and the product, the supplier is made to be a dropdown that already links to the supplier list. So those are really cool accelerators that come with the platform. And when you deploy your application, let's see how it looks like. From here, you could see that you already have a list of products because this populated from the Excel file that we had before. When we import data from Excel file, this would create a bootstrap to populate my database 
with the Excel file content. So I don't have to create a migration tool for that anymore. Aside from that, if I view my detail page, you could see that the supplier is a dropdown um, that links to my supplier database table. And that's it. Thank you for watching.